Hi everybody! You may have seen a lot of my videos on suicidal thoughts and self-harm and today I'm going to be getting into more of that but in relation to teens and how to help support teens a little bit better and understand them and this is a really sensitive and tricky topic so I'm excited to get in and support you guys and if you have any questions please comment below There'll probably be a lot more on this topic, so please ask me questions, send me an email, whatever, and I will get to those. All right, let's jump in. If you've seen any of my other videos on suicidal thoughts or suicidal ideation or self-harm, you'll know that I'm really open to talking about all of this, and I think it's incredibly important to talk about. The more we shame it or try to cover it up or really get reactive when people say that they're suicidal, the more they're going to hold it in and the less power we have to help support them and understand them. And that applies to adults and to teens and kids and everyone. And I, I know that this is incredibly scary, especially as a parent. I mean, that's one of the worst things that you can hear is that you're child is hurting so much that they're thinking of harming themselves. So their reaction of, oh my God, this is terrible, is really normal and that's okay to, to react that way. But we need to follow it up with, I care about you so much, I wanna support you, I wanna help you through this, and try to give them space to talk about it, which again, I know is really scary and sometimes we're so scared and so reactive that it shuts the kid down from talking about it and that's the last thing we want to do so if that's really difficult for you to have that conversation which it's more than okay and normal that it, it might be then get support in talking through that whether that's talking to a therapist just for support with yourself and talking through it or that's a therapist with you and your child to help support you and talk through it either way it's going to be really important to open safe space to have those conversations and try to understand it and of course a therapist support for the kid is also really important but in this kind of video i'm talking more to the parents and what you can do so get support in how to have that conversation and how to keep talking through it and how to keep opening it up i'm going to try not to swivel too much because i'm on my chair in my office and it's hard not to but um so yeah that's it's incredibly important to have those conversations because there we're going to be able to understand what's going on and try to get to the root of it and support them. So I work with a lot of teens that are suicidal and that is a whole range of what that looks like. Some of them are maybe self-harmers, maybe cutters, and that's something that they actively struggle with. And maybe they're not actively suicidal, but they do have those thoughts but they're more passive suicidal thoughts. Some of my kids also have more active suicidal ideation and that tends to go up and down. So we'll have these periods, maybe a day, maybe a couple days, maybe a couple hours where the urge and the risk is really high and we have to really support them. We have to do safety contracts and have them agree to keep themselves safe. We have to watch them all the time. We have to check in with them as much as possible every five minutes every 10 minutes every 15 minutes maybe every hour if it's not as serious um we have to take away all things that they could harm themselves with we have to give them outlets to cope outlets to process space to cry space to be space to take care of themselves in whatever way they need sometimes that's like a weighted blanket and crying sometimes that's something else but so it looks different, but after we do that, then they tend to come out of it and they're okay for a while. And then maybe they'll go back into it. But that's something that I work with a lot. And then there's other kids who maybe say that they're suicidal or they say that they wanna harm themselves or maybe they say things like, I just don't wanna be here anymore. This is too hard. I can't do this. I don't wanna live things like that, and then when we get further into it, they're not actually wanting to harm themselves. They're just really struggling and depressed and feeling hopeless, but they don't actually have any plans or anything with what they're gonna do with that. So I just got a message about a, a kid who's self-harming or um, struggling with that. So 
that happens sometimes when I'm doing videos on topics. I get messages about like that topic. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so we want to get to the root and the understanding of what that looks like because then we know what we need to do. So not everyone needs to be hospitalized. Not everyone needs to go to those facilities that are really serious and more of a lockdown facility or a big treatment center, which I've worked at a lot of treatment centers like that. And some for some people, that's the best case scenario. And for some people, it's not. And if you've seen any other of my other videos, you also know that I'm, I struggle with hospitalizing people because it's often really traumatic. So I only want to do that if it's really necessary and we're not going to know if it's necessary unless we really understand where they're coming from and why so that's why it's really important to get there especially with a kid or a teen if they go if they're hospitalized when they maybe don't really need to be and it's a really bad experience they're not going to tell you again when they're feeling suicidal so that's why we need to really understand that and that is a lot of pressure for a parent so get some outside support and get some outside help Reach out to me if you want support from me. I'm happy to help walk you through that as well. I do this a lot. Right now I, I am also working at a treatment center for girls with severe suicidal uh, ideation and all kinds of other things. But I'm happy to help support you and walk you through that. And um, I may also do some videos on identifying if Maybe a kid needs treatment or maybe what level of care they need, how to tell, how to assess that, maybe looking at what all your options are because I know that's a huge stressor for parents and you just want to do the best thing for your kid and get the best care you can given your circumstances or finances or whatever. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions or you need any support. I'll link my website. Um, you can also schedule there schedule a call there if you want to or just reach out to me for any support or anything all right guys we'll keep talking about this i know it's really difficult but i hope that offers some level of support and and care you know and kind of the beginning phase of identifying this so take a breath you can do this it's gonna be okay do your best get support um yeah all those things all right Bye, everybody. Have a good day.